Alright guys, welcome to a commentary from your man, Boss Pal, the Paladin. Uh, today we're going to discuss, kind of talk about what's going on in the video, and then over that I want to talk a little bit about uh, Paladin stats, why I choose what I choose, and what opinions matter when building the best Paladin class that you can build for your playstyle. And this is a RBG of Temple of Cot. I call it Temple of Caught My Goo, if you know what I mean. No, I, uh, this was an RBG of Temple of Caught My Goo, and uh, we went in uh, on the Horde side we started, and they basically had me carry an orb the whole game, so it was nice. I was delivering some extra damage, so I figured I'd give it all to you. Uh, in this game, I am using Seraphim, the level 100 talent, and I love Seraphim. I think it's completely underrated. Some people might call me crazy. The only problem with it, again, like I said in my talent video, which I will link in an annotation or in the description below, one or the other, the problem with Seraphim is the five holy power that it requires to use, but other than that, the ability is just incredible. If you had the stats boosted by a thousand for every, every 15 seconds, for example, uh, you get it for 15 seconds, and then it has a 15 second more cooldown after that 50, 15 seconds because it has a 30 second cooldown. So, essentially, if you build up your holy power enough every 15 seconds and get that Seraphim, you can have probably one of the strongest classes in the game, being that your stats are going to be boosted just that much by a thousand. All of your useful stats as a paladin, and that alone just makes you stronger and more powerful and hit a lot harder. And you get crits essentially every hit when you're using Seraphim because it does increase your crit rating. And it, it improves everything that you're going to need. Um, and now, in my talent video, I put that I use haste stacking on a rep paladin. And a lot of people are hesitant to use haste as a rep paladin because they feel mastery. You get so many abilities in mastery uh, that mastery affects. Excuse me. And... Uh, because of that, people feel like, oh, if you stack mastery, all of your abilities are going to hit harder. And that is the case, but here's the thing. There's not just damage done by paladins. There's a lot more to being a paladin than just hitting hard in a battleground. Uh, yes, that's great, but you have some survivability that you need to uphold. And if you're on an arena team or an RBG team, there's some abilities that you have that just don't deliver damage that... Are required for your team to survive and make it through a tough comp um, and what makes paladin so strong is the fact that you have this healing uh, you have these freedoms you have these bops and adding that all together and stacking haste allows you to cast these spells on a shorter global cooldown and just kind of makes you all around better as a class as a whole rather than just delivering mass amounts of damage because stacking haste you're not your damage isn't really going to suffer i mean mastery as a, as a paladin the the number it affects is kind of almost to the point where it's insignificant rather than if you have your haste your haste stacking if you keep stacking your haste and stacking your haste you're going to hit faster and faster and it's going to come sooner and again your global cooldown is faster so your healthless your selfless healer proc is ready to roll for example you've cut your three judgments down it's stacked ready to roll you cast an ability oh you need a quick heal guess what selfless healer boom ready to go uh, but if you have if you have mastery stacked and you're in a situation where you're gonna you're going down that that global that half a second or whatever it is that makes a difference i don't exactly know the, the exact number but it makes a big difference as short of an amount of time as it is the difference it makes is significant because you'll notice playing the difference between playing haste and the difference between playing mastery uh, if you just give haste a try and I recommend as a rep paladin you do give haste a try there's a reason that empowered seals gives you 15% more haste on your seal of righteousness because that is one of the most valuable stats as a paladin and now when it comes to multi-strike and versatility I guess that just comes down to preference Versatility is similar in the aspect of what PvP power, I guess, used to be, uh, and PvP resilience, which is now kind of just transferred into item level uh, enhancements and when you're in PvP. But versatility acts as you can deliver more damage and you can deliver bigger heals, and you take less damage. It's what versatility does. There's no, obviously, no negative effect about a positive stat that's given to you. So when you are able to deal out a little more damage and you stack up versatility with haste you have a quick dealing 
big damage number Rit Paladin, and that's pretty much what you want to see out of a powerful class. And you don't and you don't want to let all of your other abilities go to waste just because you're stacking up on mastery, which is already going to get enough um, uh, stat uh, inflation based on just your weapon, uh, your buff. All of that jazz. It's gonna it's gonna work out for you. Your mastery will be fine in an average range compared to building up your haste better than that of another rep paladin. Some rep paladins, if you face, this is my opinion, if you put a rep paladin who has more haste against a rep paladin who has more mastery, I think the rep paladin, obviously depending damage on damage rotation, ability rotation, and all that, the haste paladin will definitely survive longer, and it I think in the end it'll come out on top because it survives longer. And now. When it when it comes down to your level 100 talents and what you're pinning against another, for example, Final Verdict versus someone who uses Seraphim, I guess it just comes down again to damage rotation. And if you're using Holy Avenger along with your Final Verdict, obviously you're going to be di dishing out <laughs> frequent 10-yard throws of your Final Verdict over and over and over again. Uh, but the thing is, if you have Seraphim, something that boosts your stats by a thousand you're just going to be dealing such massive numbers and it's going to happen so fast especially because your haste is boosted by a thousand and then you already stacked your haste and your mastery is getting boosted by a thousand your mastery is already better than that mastery stacked final verdict paladin just it's going to be an astounding ability all in all and i think seraphim should be used more by paladins uh, i think that there's a lot that goes into stats it's just i guess again it comes down to the play style of whoever is playing the paladin or any class for that matter of what stat that you want to boost up um, and multi-strike enters the conversation when you use mastery for some reason people feel i guess that multi-strike and haste can't exist together in unison which is i don't know if that's an actual opinion it's just something that i think i've seen in the past but if you put multi-strike with either mastery or with your haste, you're not going to be disappointed. Again, it just comes down to preference. Multi-strike deals 30% of what you've dealt to somebody on a certain level. Uh, it's hard to explain, I guess, but 30% of the damage you've dealt, that number is dealt to the player as well. So that's what a multi-strike is. And it also accounts for heals. So again, it's not completely bad. Uh, but guys, that's the end of the battleground. I just wanted you guys to see that. It was a great game. It was a great talk. If you guys want to discuss any more things about Red Paladins or any other class in the game, if you want to know my opinions, just let me know, and I'll make some more videos about it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also, some montages coming up, and I will be doing some giveaways if, uh, that's, if it calls for it. But thank you guys for watching. This is Real Chance Wow, also known as Boss Pan. Boss Pal, love you. Bye.